I know Anna Marie Long. Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Anna. I'm Chevy Debbie. Chevy Debbie. Woo! And I am Partee. Hey, Partee. How do you feel? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of a new school to comedy, but an old school person, so uh, this is the, uh, the reception I've gotten to comedy has been great. Um, I was at a couple other places. Uh, I perform on the train, too. On the train? On the train. The train? Yeah, on the train. Just for no reason, just break out like a traveling comedy It's more like stand up routine. No, I think I have to read I have to read on the train. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It just it just springs uh -huh. into action. Yeah, I like, like I saw Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just flows. Yeah, it, it just flows just, from it. It just it's organic. See in the business where she gotta have natural talent. That's she's what it is, and she's got a natural talent, yeah, she right? Does. Yeah. Very, very impressive. I've seen your work right here at the new chapter. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and you still like me. Yes, yes I do. Baby. Yeah, I've been lucky to work with a lot of different comics. Uh Chevy Debbie is one of them that I've heard about way before I started performing. Uh-huh. I've heard about you too. Somehow I uh, heard you mention somewhere. Uh, tell us where you are you appearing anywhere? Uh Chef Debbie is my stripper name. Oh! Oh! Ah. oh. <laughs> I'm in love! No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Okay, so we can eat now that we just said grace? No. We can't eat yet? No. You said grace. Yeah. Oh. Amazing, <laughs> amazing grace? What do you want to eat? How grace is the sweet spirit. the sounds. Yes. Yeah. But don't make me sing that song. We're not in church and then nobody. No, 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 no. Did anybody go to a funeral today? You want to sing Amazing Grace? No, no. But some people do celebrate, you know, on Saturdays, though. Yeah. Some, some, people, some people go to a Catholic Mass on Saturdays. I know. Saturdays, those, yeah. those are the people too lazy to get up Sunday morning. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, because they, yeah. they have the Mass at 6 p.m. 6.30, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm a 90-minute Catholic. I, you know, I, yeah. I, I grew up Catholic. Thank God for being Catholic. Everybody else stays in church too long. Right. Yeah. 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 Like two um, hours to listen to well, a guy I lecture? Church, and no uh, way. The pastor had a sermon. He was like, is there anybody in the church that don't have a hater that's never been hated on? So the oldest lady in the church, she stood up. And for comedy sake, her name was Chevy Debbie. <laughs> and the pastor looked, he said, well, Mother Chevy, how is it that you don't have any haters? I said, all due respect to you, Pastor, I about live all them broads. <laughs> <laughs> That was clean. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, my, my family, most of them are Baptist. I grew up Catholic, which is weird. Um, I, I realized that I like being Catholic when I went to, well, first of all, Baptists go to church too much. They go to church on Monday, then they got Bible study on Wednesday, then they got usher board on Wednesday, Thursday, then they got the youth meeting, and then they got the pre-Sunday, you know, kind of warm up for church. And then you in church all day on Sunday with five offerings, the love offering, the offering because I'm broke offering. And then, <laughs> Go ahead. It's the same God, ain't it? <laughs> no matter who you or not. I'll be at the table drinking be the same God. Really? I think I'd rather meet God in the tavern than in the church. Me too, me too, yeah. Hey, Jesus' first miracle was he turned water into wine. Yeah. So that's the clue right there. I heard it was better wine than it is now, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's oh, oh. It was a natural. I think it was like a port or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Could have been like a man of Shevitz because he was Jewish. No, I think it was more like a rich. Like a Richard? Yeah. Richard Wild Irish Rose? Yeah. yeah. And you yeah, know what? I, I think that's the way. So that MD 2020. Y'all have a little wildness in you. <laughs> yeah. That is some, some old English. Old English. Old English. Yeah. Old English. What is that? 8,000, 6,000, 9,000? What is that? Cold Keith Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Cold Keith Nine. Yeah. Cold Keith Nine. Yeah. Cold Keith Nine. Cold Keith Nine. Cold Keith Nine. Old English, old English. Mad, Mad Dog 2020. And you know what? And then they just got this one mother is just 3 three eleven or 2 eleven. Two eleven. Three eleven. 3 three eleven. 3 eleven. Three eleven. Isn't that? I don't like some that's, football player or something. No, that's city information. But I guess you can drink when you call them. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure you can. They'd be drunk when you call I, I bet you, yeah, that would be something if you called them up and they were drunk. Yeah. Slurring their words and stuff. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you want to home that? Equal opportunity to employ at the city. Yeah, yeah. They hire drones. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There you go. <laughs> so if you're drunk and need a job. Yeah. I was drunk the other day and I was driving and the police pulled me over. 
So when they say, Miss, why are you driving on the sidewalk? I said, Officer, I'm too drunk to drive in the street. I don't want to get a DUI. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, that works for me. Yeah. Yes, me too. But I tell you one thing, them lawyers boys show they be smiling when you come from to them for a DUI. Yeah, yeah, because they know they get uh, what uh, about uh, eight twenty thousand, ten, ten, twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah, ten. Yeah. ten so that's what that's for a DUI. Yep, yep. Well, here's one thing: you yeah. cannot get a DUI with a venture uh, card, people. Oh. Uh, <laughs> utilize mass transit. You can't use that link card. You got Uber, you got Sidecar, you got Lyft. And you just got your average guy at the grocery store that just says livery. Or you can do that 20 years ago, you do the oh, you make hitchhike routine. Which it probably won't work. Still hitchhike. Remember that song? Here is hitchhike. Going back to Hitchhike, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that song. I could probably pull that up later and play it. Nah. Nah? Don't right. do that. Don't do that. Alright. No. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I, I promise that won't work. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went to the doctor the other day. Then what happened? You know, doctors can always find something wrong with you, you know? Oh, yeah. They're paid to do that. Yeah. Yeah. He told me my vitamin D was low. I said, I know it is because I'm not getting any. Whoa! That's <laughs> that sweet milk. <laughs> so he asked me to touch my toes, so I did. With my titties. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> is it wrong? Is it wrong? No. <laughs> no, I don't think oh, so. No. <laughs> now some doctors out there tell you, listen my dog, I got a cure for that vitamin D. What is it? The cure is good. He, he, he wants to show his talents out there. Well, I don't know. I don't like going to the doctor. Being middle-aged, they talk to me about parts of your body you haven't heard of since sex ed, like your urethra. Ugh. Uh, yeah. What is that? I, it has something to do with how much I go to make number one. Oh, okay. I drink one glass of water, I pee five times. I pee so much, I go to sleep. Pussy, pussy. <laughs> yeah. You know it, you know it. I, I, I pee so much, I want to put somebody on the payroll. <laughs> That's like a coffee up here. You have one cup of this coffee, man. You're going pee. Hey, no question about it. I think they should try to recycle whatever comes out after the coffee over there. That's Holding stuff. People used to, um, but they used to say that people used to take the baby diaper and wipe their face with it and keep them from getting wrinkles. Yeah, ah. my, my grandmother used to do that. Uh -huh. The baby diaper? Well, you know, the Eskimos, yeah. what they do is they, they, they pee into the snow mm -hmm. and that melts it because there's salt in the pee. And then they wash, so whatever they need to wash, they wash with that water. They, they, wash, they, it. they wash their clothes and pissy snow. Pissy snow. Pissy snow water. Well, you know what? Snow water. When it melts, it melts snow it. Snow water. It's, a, it's salt. There's salt in there. So, you know, it's like salt in the water. Uh -huh. And then it just, uh, that's where it gets the water. I, I, I hear you talking. Do anything I just, I just, I couldn't be no Eskimo. That's all no, I'm saying. No, I, I, I me mean either. Okay, all right. You know what? We got to wrap it up. I had a friend here that, um, I'm going to force him through the limelight. Okay. He right. came all the way here from High Park with me. His name is Mr. Gerard Stevens, so please uh, give him a uh, hand. Uh, 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 Are you leaving this hand on there? He's going to stand up in the yes, middle of the room. Stand up. He's like a stand up comedian? Yes, I'm going to stand up and do some stand up. Okay. Yeah. Stand up and do some stand up. <laughs> yeah. Stand up. So when I, when I walked in the door, I was like, I got a fifth appendage, and, uh, and everybody's laughing at me. <laughs> do I have to change some jokes, Anna? You know, she says, just get up on stage and do your thing. And you guys are, clearly you guys laughed at that shit. That was really dirty. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel this bad anymore. Um, but so, you know, I'm happy that the weather's breaking, and you guys live in a beautiful area. You know, where, where I'm from, you know, people get shot when it gets hot outside. So, you know, I'm happy to be over here. And, you know, I see people walking their dogs, and I see a lot of interracial couples. And, you know, whenever I see an interracial couple, there's always a black man carrying a very tiny dog. I guess it's, you know, kind of matches to the tiny white woman that he has. It's always very interesting to see. The other day, I actually saw a, uh, an, an interracial couple, um, and they had a black baby. And it was very confusing to me because I said, what the hell are you going to name the baby? You going to call him Barack? Well, how about Hunter? 
It's gonna be it's gonna be a very de depressing and confusing life for you and your baby. I mean, imagine it. Imagine a white man and his 11 year old baby. Well, it's a real life baby at that point. But the penis is bigger. That's that's a hard life for a grown ass man. I'm gonna put what color you are. I'm not what it's supposed to cuss. I'm so sorry about that. Is it okay? Okay, cussing is okay. Okay. All right. There's only one baby in the room right there. Where's the baby? It's a Oh. How old is the baby over there? I didn't, I didn't see the baby That's over there. That's a newborn. Five and a half? Okay. That is, that is definitely Peace. a baby That's over there. That's a newborn. Yeah. I mean, I still look like a baby. You know, I, I, I'm going I'm to wrap this up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Just relax and crack a couple of jokes while you're up there. Uh, well, I've tried to crack the jokes, and the jokes ain't cracking right now, so I'm going to sit down. I hear, I hear that it's a very funny improv group. They look very funny, very eclectic. Uh, and the ladies were awesome. You know, you guys intimidated the hell out of me. Um, but it was they was very, working. Be, be, what they doing? They was they doing were it. Beautiful at the same time. Uh, I was upset because there, there wasn't any liquor here. You know, and I, when I realized it sells chocolate, I was like, well, I can't really, you know, get get off on chocolate. I need, you know, I need some you know, I'm an alcohol. Uh, <laughs> I live across the street from the liquor store now, which is, you know, I don't know if that's good for my growth as an alcoholic, but. You know, it's, it's convenient, you know, whenever, whenever I get into a situation and a woman wants to get frisky, two minutes, run across the street to the liquor store, come back, and I'm, I'm ready, you know. They don't really sell condoms or cigarettes, though, which is, um, gotta walk to the CVS, you know, make a detour. But okay, you guys really look like you enjoy me, I'm sorry. It's okay, you know, we all set some time. There you go. It's the Gentleman Gachowski Show. Everybody, don't you know? It's the Gentleman Gachowski Show. Everybody, don't you know? It's the Gentleman Gachowski Show. Everybody, don't you know? It's the Gentleman Gachowski Show. Everybody, don't you know? It's the Gentleman Gachowski Show.